Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're here with JD. Um, wanted to talk to you guys today about fear. What is fear? Ah, right? What is fear? Fear is nothing but an emotion that you can overcome, right? Fear is an emotion that you can beat, that you can take control over, all right? So we're going to talk about two aspects of fear today. Fear of failure, fear of success, all right? Now, what is fear of failure? So fear of failure is an intense uh, fear of failing in something, right? It may cause you to put off or avoid any activity or scenario that has potential for unsuccessful outcome. Okay, so, you know, the fear of failure is very real, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's a lot of people that do, do not get involved in something because of fear of failure. So what do they do to avoid it? They don't even get in the game. Okay, and I'm here to let you know that it is okay to fail. It is okay to fail. Does not mean you are a failure. You hear that? You can fail but does not mean you're a failure. Failure only comes when you quit. If you fail at something, that is just a learning lesson, right? To help you get better in the next stages of your life, to get better in the next stages of your profession or in whatever you're trying to accomplish of goals. Whenever you set goals and aspirations for yourself, ladies and gentlemen, please understand that you will fail from time to time. It happens to the best of us. Any successful person in this world has failed at something numerous times, not once, not twice, not three or four times, but 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times plus, depending on what they're doing, right? Any successful athlete that you've seen, right? They try over and over and they failed so many times doing things, right? But they keep on practicing to get better and better and better and better. Right. So I want you to do that to overcome your fear of failure. How do you do that? Well, I have some bullet points for that. So how to overcome your fear of failure? Rule number one. Get in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot be successful in anything if you just don't get in the game. So we're here talking about telesales. OK, so in telesales. Most people have anxiety over the phones, right? They don't want to get on the phones because they're scared, whether it's the cost of it, whether they're scared of rejection, um, neglecting, not being comfortable, not knowing the script, not knowing the rebuttals, the product, the underwriting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So how do you overcome that? Well, you just got to get in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Pick up that phone call, make that first dial. Answer that first inbound call. Just take the call, get in the game, get your feet wet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the first step of overcoming your fear of something, especially in the telesales world. you got to get in the game. Rule number two, be prepared. Ladies and gentlemen, pre pre preparation is key in any successful trait. You have to be prepared. You have to know the script, right? You have to know the rebuttals. You have to know your underwriting. You have to know how to use the systems. You need to know the cares and the application questions. These things are key components in being successful and confident in what you're doing. And once you build that confidence, well, guess what? Fear starts going out the window, right? The more confident and prepared you are, the less fear takes over, ladies and gentlemen. So please, please, please be prepared for whatever you're doing, and then you will find success in your business. Number three, be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no success by being complacent. There's no success by being complacent. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's how you can overcome that, right? Hey, listen. Change is always scary for anybody, no matter what type of change it is. Moving to a new location, getting a new job, trying a new endeavor, it's always going to be scary. You're going to have that fear of failure, right? You're going to have that fear that this is not for you, but you will never know 
if you're stuck in a comfortability spot. If you want to achieve something that you've never had, you must do something you've never done. Right? Definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. Who does that? Right? If you want something to change, you have to make that change. How do you make that change? Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Get out of your comfort zone. Say something different on the script. Try a different approach. Learn more rebuttals. Learn your underwriting more in depth. Learn how to do policy reviews. Work on tonality, voice inflection. All of these are key components of being successful, taking you out of your comfort zone, right? When you're done taking that last call at five, say, I'm going to stay on and take another one. That's how you can get comfortable with being uncomfortable until it becomes a habit for you, which leads me to number four, develop good habits. Rule number four, develop good habits. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to be a success and to overcome the fear of failure and failing, you have to develop great habits. Get a routine schedule. Follow that schedule. Be disciplined in yourself. If you say you're going to start at 9 a.m., you start at 9 a.m., not 9.30, not 10 o'clock, not 9.05, 9 o'clock. If you're going to work from 9 to 6, you stop at 6. You're all in from 9 to 6. No professional athlete goes in and plays two quarters and sits down the other two quarters. You're in all game, all four quarters. Ladies and gentlemen, you're here to win. You're here to win. If you are prepared, if you get comfortable being uncomfortable, if you develop great habits, and you just show up every day and get in the game, you will overcome your fear of failure. And you will see that on the other side of failure is success. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the place of success. Okay? Now, let's talk about the other aspect of it. Fear of success. Now, most people don't understand how can you have a fear of success? What is fear of success? Well, fear of success is the concern that once we achieve something new, we'll be incapable of sustaining it or may suffer because of it. Most times, we're not consciously aware of that fear, right? Some people feel like, hey, if I reach that pinnacle, if I reach that point, can I maintain it? Can I keep it? And so they're afraid of trying to get there because once they get there, they're afraid they can't hold on to it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an easy one to overcome. How do you overcome that fear of success? This is simple. And millionaires and billionaires and successful people have been doing this for time and time again. How do you overcome it? One. Consistency. Be consistent in what you're doing every day. Consistency and persistency is key in this business. Be consistent to your schedule. Be consistent into what you're doing. Be consistent in your discipline. Be consistent in your learning. Be consistent on your product knowledge. Be consistent in ordering leads and reinvesting in yourself. If you want to be successful, ladies and gentlemen, you must be consistent in your business. That's going to be the biggest, biggest help. Two, continue to learn. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to continue to be successful, you have to continue to grow. Be around people who are helping you advance. If you're not learning every something new every day, you're digressing, right? You've heard the old saying, if you sit around and hang around five millionaires, you'll be the sixth. If you hang around five idiots, you'll be the sixth. Ladies and gentlemen, continue to grow, grow, whether it's reading, 
every day, whether it's getting online, learning something, whether it's working at your craft. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to learn something new every day. You have to continue to grow in this business. All right. Another one, discipline. Discipline is a big key in success. This is where most people fail. They're not disciplined in what they're doing. It's amazing how somebody can work for somebody and they tell you what time to be at work and you're going to be there. They're going to tell you what time to go to lunch and you're going to do that. They're going to tell you what time you get off. You're going to get off. They're going to tell you what you're going to make in an hour or a salary and you agree to it. But when it comes to working for yourself, you are not disciplined with the same mentality. Ladies and gentlemen, discipline is the key to a lot of things in life, to a lot of successes in life. There is no such thing as an accidental millionaire or an accidental billionaire and so on and so forth. No accidental success. Ladies and gentlemen, this takes effort. This takes hard work, consistency, persistency. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, it takes discipline. Discipline is the key to a lot of successful attributes. People who are successful in this business are very disciplined in what they're doing. And they not they do not have a fear of success. Why? Because they follow those steps to be successful. And once they have achieved it, they continue to grow at it. They continue to be consistent at it. They continue to be disciplined on what they're doing. Fear of success is something that can easily be overcome with just these three simple steps. Look, I have faith in everybody, and I believe you can do this business and you can do it well. Overcome your fear of failure. Overcome your fear of success. Follow these simple steps, and I guarantee you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. Looking forward to making big money with you. Have a fantastic day.